Alrighty guys, how's it going? So we are going to be looking at the old 725 shotgun once again, rocking and rolling with the slug rounds because the last uh, the last video I've done covering the 725 with the slug attachment was right after the um, right after the buff that came out for the slug attachment for the shotguns. Now the model 680, in my opinion, is still the king of the hill as far as the slug rounds going to shotguns. But in second place, I'd have to put the 725 right behind it. The only reason why it would have any reduction in, in its placement is just for the fact that you are limited to, just you got two shots because it's an over under, but with this you will get the most consistent one shot kills at range. So, you know, I mean, like I said, it's, it's a give and take. But anyways, we got it started off. Got to have the slug rounds ammunition attachment in order to take and rock slugs. And this, we don't need a muzzle or a barrel. And, then, and like, this is something you can kind of change out depending on what you're going for. But I'll explain that in a minute. But just the, st the standard barrel already has just plenty enough range. Like, you can easily one-shot people all the way across, um, like, on Shoot House and other maps as well. So, just like I said, we'll come back to that. We're going to go to Guard, throw on the Forge Tack Commander. With the slugs, one of the biggest things is just being able to control the recoil because you only got those two shots so you definitely got to make them count so in the event that you for whatever reason get a hit marker on the first go round or you miss the first shot making sure that you're able to like bring it back down immediately and, and land that second shot your last shot is very important so we're going to continue with the recoil deal and throw on the Cronin Equilibrium Stiak then we're going to take and go and throw on the TAC laser and finally, since we only got two rounds, we're going to throw on sleight of hand. Now, I can definitely understand why some people would want to have an optic, and I think having like a, a reflex sight of some kind really does help land shots more consistently uh, than the iron sights until you actually take and get really, really used to the iron sights. Because with this, it's such a low profile. Um, like, you do have like that fiber optic front sight up there, which is like to me, I like it. It's nice. I can work with it uh, because this thing at this point with the standard barrel shoots plenty flat enough. But if you didn't mind a slower reload time, then you could trade out sight of hand, throw on the optic, or if you didn't want the TAC laser because you still, you know, you plan to pre-aim a lot, which I still do pre-aim, but I find the TAC laser really helps with, like, the recoil control and just tying things in that much more. So, that's one of those personal preference things, and with that same note, you could take and, you know, throw on, like, the Tempest 32-inch competition, you could trade that out for the sight of hand or for the TAC laser, but this right here is what I've found, because I've, I've tried all those variations, and those work, you know, those work plenty fine as well, but this right here, to me, from all my playtime, and I've already played like 20-some matches with it just this morning, so uh, this right here is hands down the one that I've had the, the most consistent uh, good games with, so this is the one that I would have to recommend the most up until this point. Then now for a full class rundown, if we hop in a match, we got the 725 in our primary slot for a secondary. I'm rocking Renetti, but I don't have the burst mode on it. I'm rocking it with just this regular semi-auto uh, capabilities because I've been comparing it and the M19 because they're very similar and I, I'm I'm planning on doing a little something something comparing them to but anyways I'm for parts got EOD ghost and tune up for lethal we got a frag grenade and for attacks but we got a stun grenade ah here we go got great it kept wanting to throw me into crank matches and like I said I, I like crank plenty good enough but to actually take and showcase a weapon especially one like this uh you know having that meth head energy whenever it comes to reloading ads is, just does not give you know a fair accurate representation of how the weapons play out so like, i I'm, I'm trying to avoid uh playing crank unless it's just not really doesn't really impact the the point of the video but anyway so we, we got grind got 725 so popping people in the noggin if they're on head camps is something it can be a little bit difficult with this here setup. That guy right there, he, he must not have a headset on or not paying attention to his mini map because I don't have a suppressor, so there sure was a big old pop and a big old red dot right there on his mini map. But what are you going to do? Some kids, they just don't even know what game they're playing. That's just how it goes. Okay, where, where's everybody at? There's a full team on the other side. I've only run into two people. Come on, my, my gun needs some meat, baby. My gun needs some bodies. Bro, what is with people right now? Are they. Did, is, is everybody on drugs? Or I mean, like. Anyways, let's step way back from now. I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick my foot in my mouth here in a minute. I'm just gonna end up getting like bodied ten times in a row. So that's just you know that's how it is. Because every now and then, every now and then, my accuracy flies out the window with this thing. I will say that. I mean, I did rock a reflex sight with it, and right there, a hit marker up close. I think I just nicked him right down on, the, on the side end of his of his hip bone. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of understandable. I mean, you still got to get you know your center mass. Uh, hello, teammate. You gotta get your center mass body shots in, you know, try to upper body if possible. That right there was, oh, packet loss. Packet loss for days. 
Um, but yeah, so now one because I'm I'm working on a couple different comparisons, and that was a thing yesterday. I mean, I got plenty of um, of like video stuff and content ideas that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna be working on. Like, if anything, I could be dropping like five videos a day. But yesterday, I just I wasn't able to play that much, um, and I spent a good portion of my time testing some things out, including including this here 725 go around. And uh, just still been really going back and forth looking at the pistols. Like I said, right here with the Renetti, whenever you rock the Renetti in the single fashion, like the stats for it and the M19, technically, like it, at least in the stats, it shows that the Renetti uh, in single fire mode has a slightly faster fire rate than the M19, which I don't necessarily feel it, but uh, I have seemed to somewhat notice it in, uh, you know, I, like actually using it in game. So like, we'll probably have a comparison dropping for the Renetti and the M19. Where'd that guy go? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He's over here dropping all the tags, teammates. It seems like a lot of people have been rocking marksman rifles for some reason. I haven't looked at the daily challenges, but there's bound to be a marksman rifle do jig in the daily challenges because everybody and their brother's cat is 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 playing with the marksman rifle, more specifically the car, because I mean the car is just a fan favorite. Got these cag cags cags. Okay, I got all the cags. Let's see if we can get a guy up top in the office here. You don't need. Never mind. Teammate already dicked him down. So let's slide in, deposit these tags. Putting our team at top of the leaderboard, but we're sacrificing we're sacrificing the KD for the objective right now because we, we can't we can't be playing an objective and and losing it. You know, we gotta take it. We gotta be in it to win it. That right there, teammate blocked my field of view. I know you guys see it. Don't even need to, don't even need to explain myself. That right there, teammate's fault, 100%. Okay, uh, okay, back spawn here. We gotta get a long range shot in, maybe or not. Come on, somebody peek it, please. And teammates, quit obstructing my field of view, son. Oh. My fault. That's a teammate. Good thing we ain't playing hardcore. We call it two ounce slug. It might be in a one and a half. I don't know if it's a one and a half or a two ounce slug. Internet, please don't 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 dick me down now. Okay, so we got all the tags, bro. We are gonna be snagging all the tags. I think we're still even now. We want six and six. And, okay, yeah, six and six. So we got to get one more kill before we die. Hundred percent. See, with the tag laser, you don't have to pre-aim quite as much because I mean, you know, it, it improves your ADS time. Even though we got those two. The, the, that stock and then that foregrip on there, which like for the recoil control, but it re God dang it, screw you and your hamster. God dang it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did not last night. The um, I did not sleep a lot last night, so my reaction time is gonna be on just a downward slope. Let's just put it that way. So I'm gonna do this, and then I got just kind of a, a interesting, funky little video that I might also drop today. We'll see. We'll see what goes down. I just gotta, I gotta get warmed up even more. But I just really wanted to, because when I done the Model 680 updated class setup video for the slugs, which was you know like a, like a week ago or whatever, a bunch of you guys in the comments want me to take and revisit the 725. So I mean that's why we're here. That's why we're looking at. It. That's why we're doing what we're doing. That's why I'm getting dick down and putting it on the internet right now. Exploiting what? I did not. I hope I didn't just report him accidentally. I'm just trying to mute people. There we go. Whoa! Wait, was that it? Okay, no, it was a friendly too. My ability to distinguish my the, my friend the friend and foe is is not solid at the moment. But we're still doing good. Team's still winning. We're top of the leaderboard. All is right in the universe at the moment. Where'd he go? Yeah, and bro, I and the uh, the season six has been creeping up on me, dude. Like I just looked ten days left. Ten days fly by in no time. And we'll be getting uh, we'll be getting some new stuff. I like, see. I'm still not sure. I gotta take a look. If um, it says new battle pass, but I think there might be a new battle pass, but like technically not a new season. Do not hold me to that because I have not done an adequate amount of research. I just know a while back, like as in like five or six weeks ago, I could have swore I remembered reading an article saying that they was not going to be doing a season six, but I don't know. I don't remember. Like, and that, that could have changed. That could have been you know one of them false, like some false information, a false leak. A uh, lot of options as to what that 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 little tidbit of information could have been sourced from. So uh, so yeah, you know, if any of you guys already know that to be a fact off the top of your noggin, then uh, then you know, add that in the comment section as well because I check it out. You know, I'm, I'm out here. I read all the comments. I try to reply to all the comments unless like I'm assuming that some of the like older older videos that I, I probably won't get notifications about the comments. But uh, as long as I get the notification about them. Was that a trade? Did me and that guy just trade? We really did. I, that is so frustrating to me. And that is the one thing that seems to happen the most with slugs. Because where the slugs, it's way better now. And it's way less common because, they, you know, they raised the they increased the velocity on them back when they buffed them. But uh, just, yeah, it's like where it travels at a slightly slower velocity, you'll have a lot. You'll get more trades than you would if you was rocking with a, um, a marksman rifle. There we go. Look at that nice little head peak. Just a drag up to the top of the night. And I'm getting some lag and packet loss right now. God dang it, bro. 
Got to sit on a 12 inch butt plug. It'd be more fun than lagging every two seconds on this game. Okay, let's take throw that over there. See if we. What is with the trophy systems? Every corner of the map seems to be covered in them. Jesus. Okay, let's get this. If I see this trophy system, I'll shoot it. Boom. There we go. Shuts him down. Oh, hello there, sir. Boom. Pull out a Renetti just in case. Like you gotta have a good secondary. Please. Oh my God. The fact that man just let me kill him. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Guy. He, he can only have one eyeball. There's no way he has two. No way he has two. Oh, that guy. He's definitely got two. He's even got some goggles on. Woo, top of the leaderboard. We, we got we got to be negative. Though. I'm not doing too hot. Yeah, 14 and 16. I just I got done with a shipment match earlier. I went 54 and 19 with this setup. And like I said, I mean for a shipment to have just two shots and for it to be slugs on 725. And I mean you know like, that's that's pretty nifty. That's pretty nifty. And then I got in a lobby with a hacker that got a tactical nuke with 13 kills. And I do not understand the math behind that one at all. Um. I didn't even report him just because that's that's a blatant move right there because he didn't he waited till the very end and his team was losing and then he uh he popped a tactical nuke and had 13 kills and i know i'd killed him at least like seven times that game so you know i guess i guess some people that's how they get their kicks on route 66 is just by dicking like dicking people down with uh with with you know mods with uh just just hacking and screwing up the gameplay for the for the good ones of us the the good members of society over here where good lord bro that guy's mowing us all down let's take and get some grenade action in there a little bit of nothing what where office nothing in office let's slide in here deposit all these tags it's gonna be over before you know it baby pull out their netty once more Rock and roll over here, nothing going on. See, I don't have a laser. Okay, yep, we're backing off of that. We're backing off of that. Let's see if he pushes and contests. You know what? It'd be, it'd be nice if we had some shells in here. Oh, no scope. Oh, and off the head peak. Look at that. Bringing her back right here at the tail end of things. That's what I like to see. That's the performance I like to see for myself. Oh, come here. We're going to have to get him with the Renetti on this one. Drop shot. Boom, had to be done. Let's pull this out right here at the tail end, too, just to take and balance out the KD a little bit. Oh, we got a cr I keep forgetting to change my god dang score streaks. So frustrating. So frustrating getting here. You know you're about to go on a tear and you need your old score streaks. And then you just, you don't even got some. You don't even got some. And I missed the missile kill. Phenomenal. Okay, back to the 725. Right, just run, just come back right to death. Right to death. Are we even now? Oh, we're positive. Look at us go. Only positive by two. But, hey, positive is still positive. And this is all about the, it's all about the fun. It's all about checking out the class setup. Uh, and besides, you see, you see what happens like that. You give somebody a sub, give me a sub, give me an AR. It's, it's over. It's not, you know. It's, does this guy not know what game he's playing? He's, not, he's about to kill me, so he must not. He must know more than I do. But uh, the fact that he didn't shoot me while I was peeking off that wall right there really, I don't understand that. But there you go, guys. So I think we finished that like 2019, 2020. That is the, the the best slug class. I mean, you could tweak it a little bit. You know, like I said, if you want to go, if you want to push it just to the maximum distance, you might want to try throwing on the, the longer barrel. But it still is not going to help that much. Like you, 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 once you get to a certain range, you're still going to have the ability to get hit markers like a lot easier than uh, than you would otherwise. And that standard barrel is able to push out plenty plenty far enough for my experience. Like I said, one tapping people across the map all day every day on shoot house. And then it's like, really, if you're trying to go any further than that, then you, you're, you're kind of just, you're just stepping outside of the effective range of what the shotgun slug, you know, attachments are meant for. So you're much better off to rock and roll with a marksman rifle or a sniper rifle. So there you go, guys. That is the updated 725 slug class setup. Be sure to let me know what you think about it in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already share your friends. And until next time, adios.